Okay, so you can see we have the bales that come from the farm here on my right hand side and then the bale breaker here. So obviously it's not in production at the moment, but the guys will bring the bales over here. They will cut the Hessian sack that covers the hops, set it onto the conveyor belt and that'll go in there and then it's called a bale breaker. So it just, it, it breaks up all the leaf hops and gets them ready to go in for processing through the palletizing machine. The hop processing plant's a large building and each floor has a different stage. So we've just taken you from the bale breaker uh, where the hops are put in and, and broken up. What happens as you can see just behind me here, uh, the broken uh, hop flowers come down in and they're processed here in that this conveyor moves back and forth. It allows lots to be mixed. So say we have one lot that's 6% and uh, one lot that's 4%, we can blend the lots here. The other side is for leaf hop processing only. So bale breaker brings it down here and um, it's the, the lots are blended to get the perfect sort of alpha content and oil content and also they're screening and processing to remove any stones and things and all the checks are carried out to see if the moisture levels are right, whether they need to adjust those for processing as well. Okay, so next layer down we can see um, where the processing has um, been mixing the lots. The mixed lots are contained within this chamber and then it'll drop down into the next chamber below will, whether it's required to have extra heat or extra moisture just to get those specs just right before entering the pelletizes. Okay, again, another layer down in the building in the processing plant. You can see behind me, this is where the moisture is adjusted. So give or take 3% usually. Um, so usually heat it up um, to bring the moisture content down by that, say, 3% to get it to the correct moisture content before it enters palletization. Okay, so we have just um, come down another layer there. The previous layer was um, for adjusting moisture. After that moisture's been adjusted, it uh, goes through more mixing tanks and the it's the hop flowers and hop cones still at this stage. Um, we'll drop down below now into the next layer. Okay, so on this uh, level we have, it's like buffer or storage tanks where all the um, pelletized hops are in before they, they go down into the foil packaging uh, in the layer below. Okay, so this is a pelletizing dye. It's a dye in that the, um, the hops are forced through uh, the little circles and it creates the, the hop pellet. It's not very often you get a chance to see inside of one of these machines, so it's just about to start the processing of this year's harvest here. So the uh, material's getting um, pumped in. It's being forced through this dye, creating the pellets. All Whilst all of that is going on, there's nitrogen being used to keep all of this super cold. So it means that the quality of the pellets being created are ultra premium and it's it's holding in all those essential oils and there's no heat damage caused. Now there is an element in this room of things are going up and down to be processed and just if we move our way over this direction, you will see um, over here, obviously all of the, any of the things that are in it that you don't want there are filtered out and then it'll be um, weighed and measured on this system here um, moving back and forth to drop into the final uh, foil packaging which is just below us. So this is the foil packaging line uh, you can see here um, everything's nitrogen flushed and package really really professionally so this machine will uh, crimp at every five kilos it's making sure that it's checking the weights the foil bag will drop onto this conveyor belt it will go up the conveyor belt drop down it'll be labeled then it's boxed usually the way hot pellets are processed is four by five kilogram bags it's possible to have 10 kilogram bags or 20 kilogram bags for different size breweries so the four by five kg bags go inside a box uh, the box is then labelled and then it goes into the robot um, palletizer. so that 
robot lifts the 20 kilogram boxes and then builds the pallets for uh, onward movement into the cold storage and again then onward movement into our processing facility. Okay, so the hop samples here go to the Institute to be analyzed and you can see they travel with uh, paperwork um, from the farmer and the farmer's um, documenting and certifying that he hasn't sprayed anything or added any additional so that they can get a phyto uh, certificate. So the analysis is carried out at the Institute. If there's a problem with anything, then there's a secondary sample held here and they can use that to investigate. But Basically what I'm highlighting here is that all the testing is done before pelletizing begins so you can be guaranteed that it's a super premium product created in the processing plant.